Relational analgesia in labor or antinox is a colorless, odorless gas that is usually made up of half of the nitrous oxide and half of the oxygen. Some hospitals add other substances to make it more effective, but they may make the woman more sleepy. So here you can see that antinox is a pain relief gas which is a mixture of 50% oxygen, 50% nitrous oxide that is used for the pain relief. The antinox kit consists of cylinder, two autoclave masks, regulator, demand wall, tube and the bag. The advantages of antinox is that it is safe and effective. It is used for short term pain relief. It is easy to use and has got self-regulated administration. It has got minimal side effects. Now why is antinox used in labor? A lot of women use antinox in labor because many find it to be the best option from a range of inhaled pain relief. Antinox has no negative effects on the uterine contraction and the patient and her baby can get rid of it quickly from their bodies. How is Antinox used in labor? It is self-administered. So patient can breathe in Antinox through a mouthpiece or mask that she grab when she needs it. Patient can control the amount of Antinox when she feels the pain during contractions. Antinox takes 15 to 20 seconds to work effectively. The pain relieving effect is caused through the release of body's own opioids. Now, how effective is Antinox? Antinox is said to be of moderate help with pain and is surprisingly more effective at easing pain than opioids. Can everyone use Antinox? There should be an individualized approach towards each patient before we prescribe Antinox to any patient. Some women say Antinox make them feel sick, so they may want to avoid it. So that is one of the side effects of Antinox. The other side effects include sickness, dreaming and hallucination etc. What are women's experiences of Antinox? Women who use it like being able to control it themselves, but Antinox can make more women feel nauseous and lightheaded. Is Antinox safe for women and babies? There are no significant side effects for the woman or babies when used appropriately that is used only uh, during contractions. It doesn't harm the baby. A very important point is that using Antinox for over 24 hours can deplete body's store of vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 level might be checked if the patient is at risk of deficiency of it. Does Antinox affect labor or breastfeeding? Antinox has no impact on how labor progresses and there is no suggestion of any impact on the breastfeeding as well. Does Antinox have any long-term effects? None on the person using it. There are concerns about its effect on the midwives who have a greater exposure and on the environment. How long do the effects of Antinox last? The patient can stop taking it at any point if she chooses. The effects of Antinox wears off in minutes. Where and when can patient use Antinox during labor? Patient can have Antinox wherever she plans to give birth. If a patient is planning a home birth, the midwife will bring the Antinox with them. Patient can use it at any time during labor. Can a birth partner help with the Antinox? Birth partner can help by holding the mouthpiece between the contractions while the patient is not using it and then offering it back to her. This is particularly important if she is in a bath or birth pool as she doesn't want the mouthpiece to slip into the water. Can a patient use Antinox with other types of the pain relief? Yes, patient can use Antinox at the same time as TENS, water, pethidine or dimorphine or self-help measures for example hypno birthing along with the Antinox. Will a patient need extra procedures with Antinox? There is no need for extra monitoring or any other additional procedures with the Antinox. 
The other consideration with Antinox include the environmental impact of the Antinox. It is a greenhouse gas that accounts for over 2% of NHS carbon footprint and about one third of that is used by the women in the labor. Thank you so much. That was all about Antinox. Subscribe on Ops and Gyne. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.